who awakens me. For thousands of years, I have lain buried, a forgotten, carved out space below the surface, inexistent to the throbbing life above, where moon and sun mark night and day. Who has remembered me? Who has made their way back to my rocky womb? It must be the keepers returning to my depths, they who cared after the dead in my dim subterranean hollows, they who prepared the spirits for the journey to the underworld, they who spoke to the spirits of the dead and the living. My keepers, my custodians, have returned to rekindle the mystic echoes in my chambers. Their disappearance had been so sudden, unexpected, unthinkable even. My splendor will return. Tools of bone and stone have taken millennia of hard labor to carve and hew the darkest chambers in my depths. They will reverberate with the echoes once more, connecting the living to their ancestors. Clouds of red pigment will waft through my chambers, settling softly on the remains of the dead until they taint to the color of blood. the spirals that adorn my walls, symbolic renderings of the cycle of life, bestowed upon me by the humans, aware of their final resting place in my depths. The red ochre art, lavishly adorning my somber skin, has dimmed through the passage of time. But such will be refreshed and will sparkle and waver once more in the dancing light of the fire torches. Look around you. Over the span of a thousand years, the dead have been laid down in my hollowed chambers. Anointed with sweet-smelling oils, thousands have been made to lay on their side, curled in preparation for their final journey to the womb of Mother Earth.
hear, I can sense them, hidden from sight behind the curtain, depositing remains in remembrance, as they do among the living. I had been lost, buried for four and a half millennia. Now I have been found, but my savior does not chant anymore, does not dance, but stays composed. No dead are brought to me anymore. I am restored and well cared for, but I don't understand my function. The years have passed, customs have been undone and remade. The keepers of old have gone, and now she treads softly in their stead through my chambers, followed by men and women, foreigners to this land. She unveils what remains of the red ochre symbols painted on my walls and the artifacts left behind by the ancestors of old, those that are not lost to dust over the passage of time. She speaks of mysteries in the symbols, of a cult that has long since disappeared. She speaks very little about the sadness dominating this place and the spirits that still haunt my shadows because she can only speak about what she sees and will never fully understand. She is unable to make the connection with the ancestors who were once my keepers, my creators. If only walls could talk. <laughs>